Yo, what up world, man? Y'all already know, man, it's a sad day. It's a sad day around the whole world, man. The, uh, the legend, as y'all all know the legend, <clears throat> Kobe Bryant uh, passed away. Like, I wasn't even gonna do this video. Um, but uh, I felt like I may have come up with some words of encouragement uh, for people to help them get through this. Uh, this is just, uh, it's shocking, man. Like, uh, everybody has the Kobe Bryant story, so I'm gonna share mine. Um, when I was younger, I had hoop dreams. Uh, I wanted to be like Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? I used to play basketball. I tried to pat in the fade away. Um, but when Michael Jordan left the league, uh, I became a big fan I, um, and idolized Kobe Bryant. Um, it's just unbelievable, man. Um, but I don't want to just make this about Kobe Bryant. Some other people died too. Um, and I don't want to make it seem like if you ain't famous, uh, you just like a nobody. Um, the other people that died, of course, was his daughter, Gianna Bryant, uh, John Altabelli. Carrie Altabelli, Alyssa Altabelli, Christina Mauser, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, and the pilot Ara Zobaya, and you feel me? These are all real people with hopes and dreams and aspirations. Um, it's just tragic, man. Uh, and like, I don't know if I heard it from DMX or somebody that said, uh, Life is a struggle, but to live is to find meaning in this struggle. So I've been sitting around trying to find some kind of, some kind of meaning in this, and some kind of, some kind of, it's a lesson to be learned, and there's something, something positive can come out of any situation. And all thing I come up with is, man, you gotta live life, man. You gotta live like every day, like it's your last, man, because you never know. But now I was just saying, you gotta live like every day is your last, man. Like, cause it, you never know when you gonna, it's gonna be your day, it's gonna be your time, man. Like, if you rock with somebody, let them know you rock with them. Stop wasting people's time, cause we don't know how much time we got left. Tell the people you love, you love them, man. Another thing that I came away from this with is, um, like Kobe Bryant got to do a lot in his life. Like, he probably got to do more in his 41 years than a lot of us that get to do in our entire lifetime, you feel me? Um, because he chased something and he did one thing at the highest level, he got a chance to be in a light where he inspired like an entire generation. And that's powerful. If you take that and put it, apply it to yourself, if you become great at one thing and you push yourself to the limit, you will inspire a lot of people. We might not be able to inspire people all over the world in smaller stuff, you know what I'm saying? But if you just be great and push the limit to whatever you're doing, you're gonna inspire a lot of people. And that's what I took from this. Like, him just going so hard to be a champion got him to a, a, a thing where he could just live a life that inspired people and got to have a family and got to travel and got to really just see the world and live his dreams just because he pushed himself. That's what I want to tell people. Like if you take anything from this, it's like use this as motivation to push yourself, which is what I'm gonna do. Cause at the end of the day, I feel like we all living just to go hard for the people that can't. You feel me? Like I go hard for uh, my, my grandmas that died, uh, my uncle that was took away uh, for Nipsey and now for Kobe, you feel me? We gotta go harder. We gotta push ourselves. you feel me? Just use that as inspiration. That's all I can do with this emotion at this point. Let's use it as inspiration. We gotta keep pushing, man. We gotta keep going. Hey, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Number eight, number 24, man. Um, the other thing I want to talk about on this video today is uh, uh, you know, I'm a big Lil Wayne fan. His album is supposed to come out Friday. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. If I was Weez, I'd push it back. For one, it's called The Funeral. And Kobe Bryant's uh, Welcome to the funeral. funeral probably gonna be next, this weekend. 
Um, and I know Lil Wayne uh, said on several occasions he's a big fan of uh, Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna throw the uh, track list up too, a track list, list leaked for, for the uh, Lil Wayne funeral album. Um, but as far as the album from Lil Wayne, I do think that's gonna be a dope album. Um, ever since uh, No Sellers 1 and 2, and Sorry for the Wait 1 and 2, and The Carter 5, I feel like Lil Wayne been in his bag, like he's back. And I think The Funeral is gonna be a dope, dope album. But I think he's gonna push it back now. Um, if he don't, it is what it is, but I would if I was him. Um, we just lost somebody that was way, way too important to the culture, you feel me? Um, but we see what happens when somebody leaves a legacy, you know what I'm saying? Um, the inspiration, you feel me? Uh, <sighs> I'm trying to think if I should even made this video because I thought um, I had got all my emotions out previously, but uh, they're still there. Um, but I'm still looking forward to that uh, Lil Wayne album. Um, whenever it comes out. Uh, the last thing I want to touch on. Uh, I was supposed to do an Uncle Murder uh, um, review yesterday. Uncle Murder got an album called Don't Come Outside Part 2. Um and I was gonna do it yesterday, but too much stuff going on. But I wanted to just let people know and shine some light on Uncle Murder that uh, I actually loved that album. I was gonna rate it a four out of five. Um, I was gonna rate that album a four out of five. Uh, my favorite songs is Everybody Outside, uh, Who the Boss Is, and um, Hey Man. This is hard, man. Um, I also want to let y'all know uh, I'm gonna have a special guest this weekend on the show. Um, so be tuned for that and also when we hit 500 subscribers i will be revealing the new intro um but yeah man just uh i just want to encourage y'all if the people that's going through it uh use this motivation just to go harder man just live just live for the people that can't no more you feel me and like i said like tell the people you love you love them please like i always say treat each other right man because it's a cold world man this is just another example of that uh, stop wasting people time Like cuz we don't know how much time we got you feel me like I want to reiterate that we don't know how much time We got don't waste nobody else time man. Keep it 100. You feel me and um, Hey, man, this is a tough one man, but uh You know what I'm saying like we gonna just honor honor the memory you feel me That's all we can do at this point condolences again to the family all the um Alta Bellies, Mausers, Chesters, even the pilot. Um, I saw something on Academics uh, Instagram. He said the pilots did, uh, disobeyed the traffic control orders. I don't know if that's true, but take stuff like that in consideration. Like, you know how we are, even when we just drive, and you feel me? It's like they might say it's inclement weather, it's icy roads, and we like, well, man, I'll be driving, man. I ain't tripping on that. Just take precaution, you feel me? Um, rules are set in place, man, and, uh, you just, I just want y'all to be careful out there, you feel me, and, uh, just keep it real with each other, man, show each other love right now, don't wait till tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do a better job, uh, myself, I've been doing a better job lately, and, uh, hey, man, that's what all I got to say, man, man, y'all stay up again, condolences to the family, um, R.I.P. Kobe Bryant, Air Reviews, I'm out.